How's it going, guys? Uh, I know this isn't the usual uh, reaction you see on a Friday, but um, in case you missed my community post earlier in the week, um, I was originally going to have what my reaction to whatever happened to Baby Jane uh, on the, this Friday, but then I decided I wanted to have a reaction actually to fall on Halloween. So I decided to hold back on my reaction to what happened to Baby Jane until Tuesday, Halloween. So I still wanted to put something out on Friday. So I said that... Um, I'd uh, take one episode from Gunsmoke. Usually, you know, my reactions to Gunsmoke are exclusive to my Patreon page. But I said just to have something out on Friday. Uh, my latest reaction, episode 15 of season one, I said I would put up tonight uh, for Friday. So, um, yeah, if any of you are Gunsmoke fans, you thought you might, uh, you might enjoy this. Uh, but, yeah, just a quick little reminder of why um, you're not seeing whatever happened to Baby Jane uh, tonight, but rather on Tuesday for Halloween. Uh, with that, enjoy the reaction. How's it going guys and welcome back to another reaction to Gunsmoke and I know I said last time that uh, there wouldn't be such a gap between the previous reaction and the next the next episodes I checked out but uh, just unfortunately with the films and scheduling uh, I was in a play recently as well so yeah just a lot of time taken out but finally back to watch another one I will really really try to get back reacting to one at least once a week or um, at least twice Every second week at the minimum, but hopefully every every once every week. Um, there's just a lot of stuff going on, but uh, hopefully. But anyway, this episode, episode 15, is called No Handcuffs. And uh, yeah, with that, guys, let's get back to Gunsmoke. Let's get back to Dodge City. Let's get back to Marshall Maddell. <laughs> I like that doodle Nice build. Walking faster, chasing him. The guy walking is gonna pull out a gas oh, nice. Synchronized. Oh shit, he's gonna shoot him right in front of him. Let's see he's right behind him. Dylan, eh? Yeah, who Good. Who? I'm a deputy sheriff. Okay. Still little rats wanted down in Mingo for murder. Sit down. Marshall. Maybe. I'll stand. For this some won't reason, take very long. I have this I said, sit down. feeling trying to fool the marshal. Just fluttered into my head all of a sudden. I could be wrong now, but just for some reason they're actually working together. If you let him take me back there, they'll hang me, sure. Ah, you ought to have thought of that before you killed Doby. I didn't kill anybody. Sure, I know. You got a witness. Some drunk you scared into being a witness. I've seen it happen too many times, but he never does. All he wants is to get somebody convicted, anybody. And this time he picked me. Easy, so it don't interfere none with his drinking and his gambling. I don't know. I just something about the him. The is full of it, I'm not buying it. Never bother with a warrant. Well, there weren't no time. We knew he was guilty. Hmm. Assault was it maybe a bit? Chester, take Hank back and lock him up. What? You'll be safer there than you will walk in the streets, Hank. Show me a warrant. We'll talk about it. There's no railroad into Mingo, no Fair telegraph. Enough. You know that. It'll take the best part of a week to send... He's not going anywhere. we got nothing to talk about. And it's kind of hard to figure out what side you're on. Ask the sheriff and Mingo. When you send for that warrant... Tasty opener, anyway. What do you want him for? I don't want him. There's been a fellow hurt bad in the gunfight up at the Dodge House, and there's going to be plenty more hurt if it ain't stopped soon. Oh, well, I, I guess I'd better get up there and see about it. I reckon that's what Mr. Dillon is wanting me to do. Playing him for the fool. You can eat them eggs if you want them, because they're going to be ruined time I get back anyhow. Uh, Chester, Chester, Chester. You've been had. I like you, Chester, but you've been had. No. If they ha are in cahoots. Definitely find out now. The key's in Mingo, Hank. Come on. Let's get started. We don't want to keep the sheriff waiting. There's nobody down it. 
Uh-oh. Hey, back. What have you done? I killed him. Here you go. They're, they're going to be somebody out to get you. You ain't going to have a chance. I can fix it so somebody else gets a chance, though. I can fix it so that sheriff can't ruin nobody else like you ruined me. No, well, look. Kill the sheriff? I'm going back to Mingo, and I'm going to kill him. Well, he never did look too good to me, Doc. Oh? You got him in the face? I understand he's a very important man down Lingo. He couldn't have gotten far. That would burn itself out. It's someone else, isn't it? You ain't him. What? The feller shot me. Stole my horse. He didn't throw the shoe. Surely he'd have I'll left by now. I'm obliged to you. Get, 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 careful now. Huh? I'm a marshal out of Dodge. Maybe he'll get Chester to take him back and he'll continue after your man. What? Hank did this to him. And he's got an hour start on us with a fresh horse. Yeah. But what if not taking him back to the doctor then? Well, I like sometimes when they set episodes outside of see. Dodge City as well, just to kind of freshen up a little bit, you know. Not that there hasn't been great episodes in Dodge City, like most of them have been. And I've enjoyed the vast majority of the episodes so far, but... But would you mind if we wait here a couple of minutes while our horses get their wind? Well, if you was a mind to have some coffee, Someone He's lonely and wants company, or is it more... We sure appreciate your trouble, ma'am. Plotting something. It's no trouble, it's pleasure. I don't go to Mingo. Not anymore, I don't. Why not? It's that sheriff. Hmm, I wonder, is it a your man or husband? Not any woman. Not as long as he's running the town. Given that she doesn't like the sheriff either. Like... He wants, he takes. If it needs killing to, to get it, I don't bother him one bit. Little fella. Even hate to see my man go into town. Thanks again for your trouble, though, ma'am. First chance we've had to rest since early this morning. No trouble at all. <laughs> he got my foot just before you got here. He what? But he rode up. He, he got behind the curtains. And he said he'd kill me if I let you know. <laughs> he, he wanted a horse, but I, I, I didn't have none. Are they there now? You looking for the sheriff, he ain't here. More than likely you'll find him up the street at the Golden Nugget. And what about Hank? Is he dead? Oh my. Wasn't Who expecting that? that. I don't want no trouble, mister. I'm leaving. I got my stuff all packed. And who killed Doby? I don't know. Most folks figure it was the sheriff. Let's go. <laughs> sheriff v. Sheriff. He's <laughs> coming to watch. There's a man named Hank Springer lying dead in that jail of yours down the street. Don't say so. See? Come to think of it, I guess I did. Why? Why? Maybe he tried to drown me. Maybe I just didn't like his looks. Trying to hide it, you Maybe you'll be lucky. You want to try? Hank Springer was shot in the back. That seems to be a habit of yours. You're under arrest for murder. It's a great, he's a fantastic prison screen presence. I'm surprised he has, I haven't seen him in some Western movies, to be honest, James Ernest. Any of you men see Hank Springer shot? Yes, sir. I did, Marshal. I was there. Who? Yeah, I'd take that off of him. Get going. So Hank obviously was telling the truth all along as well. Right, that was um, episode 15, No Handcuffs, and another really solid episode um, 
of Gunsmoke. Uh, I really like that they went to the other town. Um, was it Mingo? Um, again, just a change of scenery was kind of cool, and that whole showdown between the two sheriffs, I really like that a lot as well. Um, I like the fact that we weren't sure whether Hank was telling the truth or not. It was hard to tell. He kept flipping back and forth. Should you trust this guy? Should you not? Should you feel sorry for him? Or does he deserve, deserve to be caught? Does he deserve to be um, uh, hung? Um, yeah, I just really, really liked it. A really solid episode. Uh, I liked that Chester often was told to go back and do something else. I liked that he was with Matt throughout this episode. Um, and I think just James Ernest really... He's done it in other episodes, but in this episode in particular, just that moment where he just challenges that sheriff in the bar. Um, just that screen presence I thought was fantastic. Just really, um, his characters really nailed that that moment. It was really good. Uh, but yeah, I've done a really good episode. Um, really enjoyed it. And yeah, just hoping for more of the same. Uh, but until next time, guys, Slongafall.